Hi, if you're new to my channel, my name is Pius Jagenda. Welcome. Now, if you're a person who finds it hard to take pictures with your phone, this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through some of the tips and guidelines that people who take amazing photos with their mobile phone follow. Let us roll the intro and dive straight into this video. Now, the first thing you need to do is to get grid lines on your mobile phone. So, for people who use iPhones, you're going to go into your photo and video section. Then, you will go in your settings and you'll see grid lines. Please turn them on. For people who use Androids, you're going to go into your camera. Then, you'll see that wheel, all that setting symbol. And then, you're going to tap on it. Scroll down. When you see grid lines, turn them on. Now, most people use the grid lines to take amazing photos because grid lines will guide you to be able to compose your pictures perfectly or to place your subject perfectly. Now, for people who take pictures, they understand, or for professional photographers, they understand that the grid lines follow the rule of third concept, where your screen is divided in two two lines horizontally and vertically. That means that you're going to get nine square boxes into your screen. Now, with the rule of thirds, you're supposed to place your subject on the intersecting point of those lines. And remember, any photo you will take when you place your subject on any of the intersecting point of those lines will be perfectly composed. Now that you've mastered the rule of thirds or how you can be able to use the grid line, the second concept that so many people that take amazing pictures follow is calculating your background. It is very important that you take keen notice of your background because a bad background will ruin your pictures or even a good background will make your pictures pop out or even stand out from so many people's pictures. So. It is very important that you always pay attention to your background because the background plays an important role in the picture that you're going to take. Having talked about the background, remember a picture is composed of three layers. That is the foreground, the midground, and the background. What is the foreground? The foreground is the distance between your camera and your subject. And the midground is the distance where your subject is standing all your subject is placed and the background that is the distance from your subject behind so anything that will be placed in the midground or even in the background and foreground will play an important role on how your pictures are going to turn out so it is very important that you calculate these three layers before you take a picture for example if you get any person to stand before your camera that means that you're not going to be able to capture your subject well so you need to always be keen on anything that is going to be between your camera and your subject so having talked about you calculating the layers of your photo it is very important that if you're using a mobile phone, you shoot in HDR mode. What is HDR mode? That is the high dynamic range mode. That means that your pictures are going to have so much details that are going to be covered in your photo. So many people don't use this setting because they don't know what it does. When you use HDR mode, your pictures are going to have so much details. As a matter of fact, if you are in an area that has so much light, the HDR mode will help you to perfectly expose your images. So if you're using a mobile phone to take your pictures, don't forget to use the HDR format to take your pictures. This takes us to another setting that will help you take nice pictures with your phone. You realize so many pictures that are taken with a mobile phone that you'll see online have a blurred subject. But this is caused by the fact that mobile phones come with automatic focus. So I advise you to always focus on your subject by tapping to the screen in the area where your subject is to avoid blurred pictures. This will help you to take perfectly focused images. Having talked about taking focused images still on this topic, 
it is important that before you take a picture you make sure that your camera or your phone is held in a still mode what do i mean by you holding your phone in a still mode avoid all the shakes that are going to be caused by you when you click your shutter button remember any slight shake that you will create when you're taking any picture with a mobile phone you're going to get some blur into your images so make sure that before you take any picture one your picture is perfectly focused two make sure that when you're clicking the shutter button you don't shake your mobile phone or your camera this will help you to take amazing pictures that have a nice focus if you find challenges in being able to hold your phone still you can be able to buy a tripod now a tripod is an accessory that you can be able to use for your mobile phone to be able that your phone is still and with a tripod you'll be able to avoid taking pictures that are shaky or even that will be able to have a sharp a nice focus remember there are people who take those long exposure shots now that phones are being upgraded and we are having this feature in our mobile phones people like to take pictures that are long exposed that is in the middle of the night so a tripod will be very very essential in you taking long exposure shots so if you are in love with taking mobile photography serious i advise you to buy a tripod and it will help you to take better pictures than the ones you're taking right now when i was still doing mobile photography seriously i used to look around and study my environment so if you are a person who loves taking pictures with your mobile phone study your environments and one of the things that we usually ignore are the reflections in the area that we are shooting from so many people right now when you see pictures online people are using mirrors to take pictures or selfies that is because reflection will give you amazing pictures that will stand out from the other pictures that you'll see online so when you are in an environment where you would like to take amazing pictures try and look around are there reflections that you can use and these reflections will add a different type of feel to your pictures or even they will show more creativity another way away from just the mirrors that you can be able to use the reflections is by pouring some water on the ground and trust me you'll see your subject through the water these are creative shots that you can be able to take with your mobile phone but now you're thinking out of the box away from just taking a picture of your subject you're adding more creativity by using reflections another way you can be able to take amazing pictures with your mobile phone is by using leading lines the leading lines this is one of the trick that you see so many photographers use where you see pictures that are very organized or have these natural frames and these natural lines in them so this is a concept that you can be able to use in your pictures that you're going to be taking with your mobile phone and they will be able to stand out from the so many pictures online the way you'll be able to start to see leading line one is by you practicing so much with your mobile photography skills or even you can be able to study your environment when you take time to study your environment you will see these lead, leading lines in your walkways for example so many people have been taking pictures where they are traveling and they decide to park on the side and then you'll see one person is standing in the middle of the road and someone is placing the phone close to these lines in the middle and they'll be able to take a picture where the lines in the middle are leading you to the subject that is one of the example of how you can be able to use leading lines i believe there are so many ways you can be able to use leading lines when you're taking pictures with your mobile phone so many people fail to take amazing pictures that is because their pictures have so much color another concept that you can be able to use to take amazing pictures with your mobile phone is by color blocking what is color blocking color blocking is when you decide 
to silence some of the colors to be able to make your subject to stand out. For example, in this video, I might decide to mute all the yellow and desaturate it and then I will remain with all the other colors. That means that I've decided to color block the yellow. So you can be able to color block colors in your images and you'll be able to make your subject stand out. That means that you will need editing software or even editing apps on your mobile phone. Some of the apps that I recommend are Snapseed and then Lightroom Mobile. Those are the ones that I use when I'm editing pictures on my phone and they will be able to help you to color block in case you have colors that you don't want in your images. I've seen so many people who have expensive phones but they fail to take amazing images and they decide to just put their phones away and they upgrade by buying a phone that they think will take better pictures but when they buy a new phone they find that they are getting the same challenge now what is this challenge so many people are taking pictures with their mobile phone without cleaning their lens remember it is very important to clean your mobile phone lens because so many times we touch that lens when we are receiving phone calls or even when we are chatting with friends. So before you take any picture, make sure you clean your mobile phone lens and once your lens is cleaned, you'll be able to view your subject clearly and trust me, once your lens is clean, you will be able to take amazing pictures with your phone. One of the reasons why you're taking bad pictures with your mobile phone is because you're not using external lenses. These are accessories that you can be able to buy to make your camera or your phone to perform better tasks than the one it is capable of. So I see so many people using the digital zoom to be able to zoom closer to subjects that are far from them or even to be able to get closer to their subject. Now, my tip that I'll be giving you is you can either buy external lenses for your mobile phone or you can decide to move closer to your subject to be able to take closer pictures to your subject. That is in case you want to zoom in. If you zoom closer to your subject digitally, your image is going to lose quality and trust me, your phone is also going to introduce noise into your pictures and at the end of the day your pictures are not going to look nice so i advise you to buy an external lens that will help you to zoom into your subject and if you have that lens you will be able to take amazing closer pictures another concept that photographers use on a daily basis to take product pictures these are patterns Trust me, you have seen so many product photographs online where someone has decided to place a product on tiles or even someone has decided to place a product on pavers. So it is very important that you use these patterns or even any natural pattern around where you're taking your pictures from. And trust me, if you follow the patterns, you'll be able to take better pictures away from the ones you're taking right now. Another way you can be able to take better pictures with your mobile phone is by using natural light. I've seen so many people who take pictures that are dark, but understand that mobile phones don't have that capability like DSLR cameras to take amazing pictures in low light conditions. So I advise you to use natural light and you'll be able to get perfectly exposed images but also in case you want to take a picture inside your house or in an environment that is indoor i advise you to get close to windows windows are better light source to your cameras and they will help you to get that amazing light for your pictures then having talked about the lighting for your photos it is very important that you avoid using a flash when you're taking pictures that is at night but also during the time because sometimes when you use the flash during the night time you'll see that your subject will get that red high 
which is hard for you to edit out. When you're using the flash during the light, it will give you that fake lighting to your subject. So instead, feel free to move out and use the natural light to take those amazing pictures. And in scenarios where it is night time, get closer to any light source depending on the environment that you're shooting from get closer to any light source and take that picture without using a flash that comes with your camera after you taking pictures there comes a level when the only thing that will save your pictures is editing so i advise you don't fear to edit your pictures and some of the apps that i use to edit my picture is snapseed and lightroom so you can be able to download lightroom or even snapseed and with some minimal editing you'll be able to have amazing pictures but don't overdo it so many people ruin their pictures by over editing just do it to just make your pictures better than the ones you have thank you guys for watching this video don't forget, my videos are sponsored by Ivy League. Ivy League, these are the people who provide me with the space and equipment to shoot these particular videos. And if you have liked my video, don't fear to tap that like button, but also to subscribe because that helps you to get those notifications every time I upload new videos. But it also helps me as a creator to grow this community of people who learn from the knowledge that I share. My name is Pius Jagena. I'll see you in another video. Peace.